Okay guys, so what I have here is a small battery bank and how I maintain my batteries. Uh, this is what I use primarily in my bug out trailer and that is the interstate battery right there in the back as well as the deep cycle marine battery that's in the uh, case. And I use this um, in the bug out trailer to run things like fans, lights, uh, charge my cell phones, my laptops and stuff like that. But uh, those are like four months old. But now what happened with these two batteries is uh, with uh, with motorcycle batteries, you don't have a co core charge. They don't charge you an additional eight to twelve dollars if you don't bring in your old battery. So you have the option of keeping those, and I chose to keep them because I can actually get them charged up to about twelve point three volts, both of them, which um, essentially will run that fan that I have right over here and um, charge up this cell phone that I have right here, which I no longer use. But I'm going to show you guys now right here. This battery is hooked up to the um, inverter, and I'm going to show you guys how well it works. I'm just going to hook up that small fan and, um, and this um, phone right here. But how I maintain my batteries is I use this um, Harbor Freight Chicago Electric uh, battery float, and it has not given me any problems. I should have used it with these because what happened was I let my motorcycle sit for about six months and I didn't crank them up. I didn't do anything. I didn't have to get the carbs cleaned or anything, but I didn't crank them up but one time during that, that six, um, six month period and the batteries went dead. So I had to purchase two new batteries, but anyway, should have used uh, my devices since I have them on hand, but with my time restraints and everything, I just did not have the option to do that. But anyway, I also charge my batteries up with this trickle charger um, and this thing I use this this is my primary use for this battery and this battery uh, as well I definitely keep these maintained because they're brand new now my sister gave me this yellow battery down here which is the Everstart and she could not get her car to crank but uh, she didn't she didn't want it she just gave it to me she paid the core charge got rid of it and my mother was throwing away her riding lawnmower, which was extremely old. It was just a wreck. And I went in there and I took out the battery and kept that. So it's good to have extra batteries on hand. I can get all of these batteries charged up to about 12.2 volts. So now what I want to do is I want to show you guys how easy it is to um, run the fan and that phone on this this. Um, inverter and the battery. You see it's hooked up to that battery and the fan is now going. No problem. Feels really good too and then that's on medium. Now I'm going to turn it off and then I'm going to hook up. Let me try and do this. All right, I'm going to hook up this cell phone and show you guys. Now I'm gonna turn that on and you'll see the phone come on. And that's that. So that's pretty much how it works. But um, all in all, that's all I wanted to share with you guys. It's good to have a battery backup. And if you have spare batteries that you're not using, charge them up periodically. And just use them for little small odd and end things. Thank you for viewing A Woman's World Out.